See this ring? You take this to the doghouse, and when Casper's trained, bring it back. Casper's the main problem, absolutely, yes. When right. people come and go into the house, he bites at people's legs, especially when you go to leave. Right. And he, um, he attacks. He bit my son in the calf, which is one of the main reasons I asked him to leave. So he's very crazy. He loses his mind when people come and go. How many times has he bitten people? A dozen, dozen and a half. A dozen times? Casper has bitten people 12 times. And the fact that Mark hasn't addressed this problem at all is unacceptable. Someone is going to get hurt. Mark is going to get sued. I don't think he takes his dog's behavior seriously at all. Where are you within the relationship now? I want the dogs to be either gone or trained. What do you mean so gone? You mean, you mean you've told me you want to put, I should put them down. I think it's a bit much for Denise to ask Mark to put his dogs down. Mark is no way going to put his dogs down, and I completely understand that. I think it's the only alternative to save us. I can't see another solution at all. This is real, and it's, it's taken a toll on us, and it's my life. We can't be together because of the dogs. But I can't put them down, Denise. You have to... There's no way that's happening. I'm not going to be able to live with myself. You're going to live with yourself when we break up? If I can't help the family get these dogs sorted out, they will split up. It's hard not to feel pressure when really you are somebody's last resort. I think you need to listen to Denise a bit more. You do let the dogs get away with negative behavior that you could be jumping on quicker than you're doing. And Casper has had, as you said, over a dozen bites. Yes. That's serious. <laughs> it is completely irresponsible. The last thing, because I feel like it's an unrealistic expectation to get him to put the dogs down. I know. He will resent you for the rest of his life if he does. And the fact is that if he did put them down, I think he'd split up anyway. I think that's why I never demanded it, because I knew that would happen. How could he not no. be resentful? If you guys want to be together, you both have to work to ensure the success so that you can live together in harmony with these animals, which is not going to be easy. With a little direction, I'll step up. To break up after all these years over dogs, it'd be ridiculous. We're this close, so I think now we're both going to have to put in the effort, and I think we will. Are we ready to work now? Very ready. Kay. Yes. Psyched. Absolutely. Yeah. Let's do it then. Thank you. Come on. You say when people leave the home, the Casper nips at them. Doesn't nip that often. Let me tell you, Mark, so you're under no illusion. One nip is too many. Yes, I understand that. So we've got to stop him from doing that. Because that's not a great behavior. Plus, you want your guests to be able to leave unscathed, unharmed. <coughs> We're going to have one of your neighbors come over, knock on the door. I want to see what he does, and then just follow what I do. Why don't you actually take a seat? Because if you take Both a seat, us? that's more, yeah, that's more, more, what normally happens. Okay. Yeah. No. Okay, Patrick, go ahead. Okay. Okay. Do nothing. <laughs> what I want you to do is I want you to get up and go into the kitchen. He's going to follow you. Then you come out of the kitchen. And go answer the door. Ignore what he's doing. Hi, how you doing? Oh, Good. Good. Oh, boy. Morning. Hi, Pat. Hi, Hi Denise. How, how are you? Patrick? Hi. Take a seat. Thank you. You do not let him out of there until he's quiet. You wait till he does that. Go and let him out. Totally and utterly ignore him. Ignore him. There you go. Now he's taken himself off. Now you have to get your guest safely out again. So I want you to call him okay. 
and I, I want you to start doing go finds and I want you to throw the food kind of over there, over there, so that it's away from Patrick. Okay, Casper, come here, boy, come here. Okay, good. <laughs> Sit. Playing the go find it game is going to be really, really effective because it takes Casper away from that angst that he feels when somebody leaves and redirects all of that anxiety onto something positive. Good boy. Patrick, start walking towards the door. Sit. Nice. Good. Go find. Good boy. Good. Work hard good to boy. keep his attention. Very good boy. Patrick, open the door. Sit. And Go exit. Find. No, wait a Casper. second. Stop. Good. Good. Right. Good boy. Good boy, sit. I think it's going to become natural for Mark and Denise to have guests come in now and just go through the ritual. It's going to be part of life. And Casper's going to be less anxious, doesn't stress out, doesn't feel the need to bite. It's a win-win situation.